Hi and Assalamualaikum Today I want to start a new chapter for the FET which is FET Frequency Response This chapter consists of four subchapter which is the number one FET Frequency Response Curve Second is a Low Frequency Response Then High frequency response with another two subtopic inter electrode and wiring capacitance, Miller effect capacitance, and the last topic is the frequency response plot, which is the board plot. In frequency response curve, we must take note that the frequency effects introduced by two things here. The first one is the larger capacitive elements of the network at the low frequencies. It means that the capacitors in the circuit configuration during the low frequencies. Second, the larger capacitive elements of the active device at high frequency. This one is the internal capacitance in the active device which is the FET during high frequency. The analysis will extend to a wide frequency range from low until the very high frequency. Therefore, the logarithmic scale will be used throughout the analysis. FET amplifiers are filled with the RC coupled circuit and active device where the low, mid and high frequencies will give effect on the gain of the amplifiers. Below is a gain versus the frequency plot. See here, where the gain is reduced at a low frequency due to the coupling capacitor. Here, in the green area, this is the maximum gain at the middle frequency, which is the maximum value is here, the AV mid. And here, in the yellow area, the gain reduce again at high frequency due to, due to parasitic capacitance. In the next video I will explain what is the parasitic capacitance and what is the coupling capacitor. And you see this one F1 or we call the low cut off frequency that we get from the low frequency response. Okay. At the low cut off frequency we can see that the gain is at 0.0 7 AV mid. It same goes with the high cut of frequency with the same magnitude of the gain. And the bandwidth is actually the high cut of frequency minus the low cut of frequency. The F1 and F2 are cut off frequencies and generally called corner, band, break, or half power frequencies. F node here is a center frequency, and the bandwidth or pass band of each system is determined by F1 and F2, which is F2 minus F1, as we can see in the previous slide. This is a normalized gain versus the frequency plot. You can see for the y-axis, this is the AV divided by AV mid. And then for the x-axis, we use the frequency in a log scale. So we, we can see that the frequency is in a wide range 
from 0 or 10 until 10 megahertz so we need a bigger scale to fit the low frequency and high frequency response so this gain is uh, at each frequency is divided by the mid band AV mid gain value the mid band gain equal to 1 you can see here okay, the largest value here is 1 and then at the level of cutoff frequency for F1 and F2 the gain is dropped at 0 0.707 so at the center here the AV is maintained at 1 and we call it a mid band frequency for applications of a communication nature like an audio or video a decibel plot of the voltage gain versus frequency is more useful than the normalized gain versus frequency plot. So a decibel plot of the voltage gain versus frequency can be obtained by applying this formula 20 log 10 of the AV divided by AV mid. So we can get this uh, plot in a decibel. So remember that here, this is in a decibel. So decibel start with a zero, and then its value is uh, getting negative. So it's negative three, negative six, and so on here. And the log scale is maintained. So from zero, until uh, 10 megahertz for this example so from here you can see that the AV here is 0 dB and then for the at the cutoff frequency for the low and high is negative 3 dB it means that the log of 0 0.70 multiplied by 20 we get is negative 3 dB so we can say that the gain is actually attenuate and or it is getting a loss so getting loss start with the negative 3 dB and continue until a negative value here so every mid is actually the highest gain at the mid band level.